What's going on ladies and gentlemen, I am Dan Whitmer and today we're giving you the top 10 jump rope tips for beginners. First and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, this is a beginner, beginner video. So this is mostly for new people to our channel. So if you're advanced and you already know what's going on, feel free to skip this video and check out some of the ones from last week. So guys, jumping rope is a great exercise for not only increasing your cardiovascular endurance, but also shedding a ton of body fat and burning a lot of calories. But this is only true if you use proper form. So today we're gonna give you our top 10 tips for having better form so that you can get started and feel more confident. Number 10, jumping low to the ground. So when you are jumping rope, one of the biggest reasons that we see people getting injured or frustrated is because they're jumping too high off the ground. As a rule of thumb, we always say, jump about one to two inches. Um, most other places in the world, that's about three to four centimeters off the ground, unless you're doing a trick like a double under. Everything else you should be uh, having very low impact to the ground so that you're able to save your, your knees and your joints and things like that and so you don't get injured. Number nine, you wanna have your knees slightly bent. So as you'll see here in the B-roll, having your knees slightly bent just helps you to absorb the shock of jumping up and down. If you lock your knees and just jump straight up and down, that's a very quick way to injure yourself. So don't do that, bend your knees. Number eight, jump rope in the same place. And what we mean by that is that you should be jumping rope straight up and down so that you're not moving all over the place. It's definitely going to be much harder to maintain your rhythm if your feet are moving everywhere. Um, in fact, it's probably gonna make you mess up a lot. So make sure that you're jumping straight up and down in the same place. Jumping on the balls of your feet or your toes is super important because just like your knees, if you're jumping on your whole foot, your whole foot is absorbing that harsh impact and you're not getting any cushion of when your, your toes touch the ground first. So as you'll see here in the B-roll, make sure that you're jumping rope on your toes and make sure that you're also bending your knees. And it also helps strengthen your calves. So you know you get nice ripped calves when you're jumping on the balls of your feet. Keep your hands down at the sides of your hips and parallel to the ground. Many times when we see beginners jumping rope or trying to, their hands tend to come up like this, which means there's less room for the rope to go under, which makes them mess up. Another thing we see is people's hands being uneven. So again, keep them at the sides of your hips and keep them facing down parallel to the ground. Number five, start jumping rope with a slightly heavier rope. Now the reason that we recommend starting the jump rope with a heavier rope is that the weight of the rope actually provides more feedback, which means that you can feel the rope coming around which is really important when you're starting out because you don't wanna be guessing, like if you have a speed rope, you're more guessing when the rope's coming around, which if you're a beginner, that's gonna be hard to get your rhythm. So again, use a heavier rope. If you want the jump rope set that we use in pretty much all of our videos, it's linked up down below. It includes the half pound rope from Cross Rope, which is, in my opinion, the best rope to use if you're a beginner. So go check that out. It's linked up below for 10% off or do the thing at checkout. Number four, use your wrists, not your arms. So when we see people starting to jump rope, a lot of people go like this because they really want to muscle the rope around their feet. You don't want to do that. It's the whole thing of less is more. Less is more when you're jumping rope. So what you want to be focused on is using more of your wrists and letting the rope be controlled by your forearms and your wrists rather than moving your arms or flailing your arms like this. Number three, you wanna make sure that you have good posture. So, kind of similar to jumping rope in the same place, you wanna make sure that you're jumping in the same place, you wanna make sure that your body is straight up and down, and that specifically your shoulder blades are pulled back like this so that you're working more of your back muscles and the rope is staying tight. You don't want your shoulders caving forward and trying to use the jump rope again, make sure they're back and everything is tight. Number two, you gotta allow time for rest and recovery. Anyone who's a beginner who starts jumping rope, even if you're only doing it for five to 10 minutes a day, if you're doing it every day, you're probably gonna develop some sort of shin splint or ankle injury. So in order to avoid uh, shin splints, ankle injuries, knee injuries, and foot injuries, what you should do is rest. If you are a very beginner, if you're new to this channel, Go ahead and jump rope for three to five minutes per day and do that three to four times per week so that you get an ample amount of rest days in between each of those. As you build up and as you start doing more, 
Yes, it's okay to jump rope for 20 to 30 minutes a day, five to six days a week, but we want you to start off slow and build from there. And number one, ladies and gentlemen, the number one jump rope tip that we have here is you have to stay consistent. In order to reap the benefits that jumping rope can give you, it is a skill that must be acquired. So you must become proficient at jump rope before you're able to lose a lot of weight. So when we started jumping, guys, I couldn't even jump consecutively for more than 15 seconds. Don't worry about your mess ups. The most important thing is that you just stay consistent and I promise you with practice, it will come. We've seen people become amazing jump rope ninjas doing all kinds of tricks that could never even do the regular bounce for more than five seconds. So again, stay consistent, I promise. It's coming with practice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that if you're a beginner, I first of all just wanna say welcome to this channel. Be sure to use this channel for um, if you need tutorials, if you need workouts, anything that is jump rope related, you can find here. So please comment below. We're always looking at the comments and, and answering questions. If you guys want updates on stuff that's going on at Jump Rope Dudes, make sure to join our email list. It's in the form of a seven day challenge. So if you're also a beginner and you want a free seven day challenge to kickstart your jump rope journey, check it out, that's linked up below as well. Again, hope you guys got some value out of this video today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up below, followed by a subscribe to continue receiving more information to help you jump rope, get lean, and live more. I'm Dan Whitmer, always reminding you to do the thing.